First, I want to take this chance to update you on the latest coronavirus data. 2,353,078 tests for coronavirus have now been carried out in the UK, including 133,784 tests yesterday. 236,711 people have tested positive for the virus, an increase of 3,560 since yesterday. 10,024 people are currently in hospital with coronavirus. This is a 13% fall from the same time last week. And very sadly, of those who've tested positive across all settings, 33,998 people have now died. That's an increase of 384 since yesterday, and we mourn each one. Right from the start, it's been clear that this horrible virus affects older people most. So right from the start, we've tried to throw a protective ring around our care homes. We set out our first advice in February, and as the virus grew, we strengthened it throughout. We've made sure that care homes have the resources they need to control the spread of infection. Social care is a devolved matter, of course, and this week we've made a further £600 million available to care homes in England. This comes on top of the £3.2 billion we made available in March and April, and the £712 million we made available to the devolved authorities, that's £369 million extra for Scotland, £223 million extra for Wales, and £124 million for Northern Ireland. We've put extra infection control procedures in place and prioritised testing in care homes. We test any resident returning to a care home from hospital and all residents with symptoms and all social care colleagues and members of their households if they have symptoms. Together, these measures have saved lives and protected 64% of care homes, almost two-thirds, from having any coronavirus cases at all. And where there are cases, we've taken extra measures to protect residents and staff with local public health officials playing such a critical role. Now we have capacity for well over 100,000 tests a day. We're extending testing coverage still further. All care home residents and staff in England, both those with symptoms and those without, are now being tested. And in fact, We'll test every resident and every member of staff in our elderly care homes in England between now and early June. 